Hi guys. In this class, we will move on to the problem number two. So relating to advanced tax. See the script, problem number two. Find out the amount of advanced tax payable by Mr. A. Yeah, Mr. A, but he is having what some of the business profession carry business na right on specified date under the income tax act 1961 for the financial year 2018-19 right he is earning the income and he is supposed to pay the advance tax to the government right as this is a business income they have not specified that is under the what that is from the um, firm or company so we can determine this is from the professional professional again now determine man right now what are the sources of income under the first one is business income that is rupees two lakh eighty five thousand right uh, since they have not given the company or firm we are as we are taking the profession we will take with the percentage 30 percentage tax rate next uh, long term capital gain on 31st uh, May 2018, 60,000, right? See, when, uh, when the long-term capital gain is given and the casual um, income is given, you are supposed to know the, the date. Date in Kutu Dharayana Dhanu, you will confirm it, right? Long-term capital gain, it is on 31st May, right? The, before the first quarter, that is, uh, uh, first quarter is when, that is uh, 15th June, first installment. So, adikina munchane income earn nagide. So, this long-term capital gain amount will be applicable for the first installment advance tax. No changes. Next. Next. Winning from lottery that is on 12th June 2018, rupees 50,000. Right. Winning from lottery, it is a casual income. Again, we don't know when it will come, but it is bandide, bandira drinda, date koti radrinda. We have to uh, determine whether it, it want to take in the first quarter or the next quarter. But uh, before we want to take for the first quarter, we have to know on which date it is in earned. It is earned on 12th June 2018, but the first quarter due date is when? That is 15th June. That is before the due date. And this, is, uh, this amount also will come in the first quarter. Then what is the rate of tax will be applicable for the lottery? Uh, it is a casual income. It attracts 30 percent is amount. Next. Uh, Interest on loan. Interest on loan, it is income from other sources. They can able to predict it. New bank fixed deposit in So we, you can able to predict right one is income barute. tax na pay marbodo. Next to loan easty income barute and predict marbodo percentage basis mele. Hence it is a predictable amount. Hence advance tax will be paid. Next other income. Next one, investment, uh, other income, it is, uh, it will be included in the other taxable income. Now, no, calculate, add, 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 that is interest on loan also. Next, investment in public provident fund. It is, they can able to take deduction under section 80C, right? Uh, that is under section 80C, how much? That is uh, up to 150,000, right? But here yeah, the amount is how much? 10,000. Full amount can be taken, take as deductions, 10,000. Right, uh, next. TDS, 15,000. This amount will be deducted from the tax liability. In tax liability, calculate Martiro. After the tax liability, you have to deduct the TDS, right? This is how with the problem. Next, we will see with the solution. First step, now this is the problem where, uh, where you have to, uh, you will going to see with the every step. Prati step, no, North Aukthira, right? Step number one, first calculate the taxable income. Particulars, amount, amount. Next, first you have to uh, take with the format wise income from HP, nil, income from business or profession, that is amount 2,85,000 given in the problem, that is 2,85,000. Next, income from short term capital gain, they have not given, if short term capital gain is given, it comes in the calculation of other taxable income, right. Next, income from other sources other than casual income. Why? We are not taking the casual income. There is no deduction for the casual income. Uh, they have given two way of sources for the, uh, the other income, and that is other sources. Interest on loan, 10,000. Other income, 5,000. Total of these two will be 15,000. Right, these are the four income and 
two lakh eighty five thousand plus fifteen thousand. The total uh, gross other gross total income will be three lakh. Next, from three lakh minus the uh, deductible amount. Any deductions, right? And uh, here they can able to take the deductions under section eighty C investment in public provident fund. Amount is how much? That is. Ten thousand investment or deposited. And then another one, another one. How much? That is ten thousand. Three lakh minus ten thousand. Two lakh ninety thousand will be the other taxable income. Again, add long term capital gain. Here, see the date. Uh, what is the date? That is thirty um, first May two thousand eighteen. Thirty first May two thousand eighteen. Right. How much? That is sixty thousand. Next, winning from lottery is on twelfth June two thousand eighteenth. Again, these two will. Uh, it is before the due uh, the first installment due date ends. It will be calculated for the first installment. Right. The date is important for the long term capital gain. If the date is not given for both casual income and the long term capital gain, you consider it is earned on the first day. First day, bandhi day. Then, I am not going to do it. Right. Add these two, total will be one lakh ten thousand, two lakh ninety thousand plus one lakh ten thousand, and then the four, uh, amount will be four lakh. This is what total taxable income. Next step number two, tax liability. Right. Tax liability is how much? That is other taxable income. First, we have to calculate the other taxable income. Since it is, they are not mentioned whether it is a firm or a company. We are we are taking with the profession. I get to know thirty percent is again. Now calculate more than right. Two lakh ninety thousand. Where other taxable income? That is a see a that is other taxable income. Two lakh ninety thousand into thirty thirty percent is that is eighty seven thousand is a tax amount. Next. We have to calculate separately. Long-term capital gain it attract twenty percentage. How how fifty thousand into sorry sixty thousand into twenty percentage that is twelve thousand. Next winning from lottery fifty thousand into thirty percentage. Casual income it attracts thirty percentage right now. Fifty thousand into thirty thirty percentage fifteen thousand will be the tax amount. Add all these three amount will be one lakh fourteen thousand four hundred. Next, add education and health cess at four percentage on which amount that is on tax amount one lakh fourteen thousand one lakh fourteen thousand into four percentage four thousand five sixty will be the education cess four thousand five sixty add to the one lakh fourteen thousand then the total tax liability will be what that is one lakh eighteen thousand five sixty then minus. TDS amount, any tax deducted at source, which is already paid by the such person, that is how much? How much? Uh, that is a uh, fifteen thousand minus this amount from one lakh eighteen thousand five sixty. Then the advance tax payable for the financial year is how much? One lakh three thousand five sixty. This is the advance tax payable. Next, this advance tax payable, we have to calculate for the installment. Every quarter wise means four. 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 Five thirty-four will be the first installment advance tax amount. Next, second installment is how much? That is, fifteenth September is a due date, and the total how much they supposed to pay? Yes, to pay Madhir Beko forty-five forty-five percent is. But uh, already pay Madhir is doing a direct Madhir. Yes, to pay Madhir. Second installment only one lakh three thousand five sixty into thirty percentage. In order to know how thirty percentage, go and see the first problem. First problem, I am not here. Copy this. Only can know the calculate. That is thirty percentage. How much amount? Thirty one thousand sixty eight will be the second installment. Only pay more be carried on the advance tax. Third installment due date fifteenth December two thousand eighteen. Total seventy five seventy five percentage should be paid. But at the time of payment, payment, making payment of the third installment, uh, they will pay thirty percentage. Why? Because uh, already paid. 
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪೇ ಮಾಡಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ತರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಪೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇಂಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಪೇ ಮಾಡಿರಬೇಕು ಬಟ್ ಪೇ ಮಾಡಿರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಡೇಟಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದಾಗ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಹೌ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಪೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆವ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದಿ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ನ ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೀವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಹೌ ಐ ಟೀಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಎರಡು ರೀತಿನೂ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ರೈಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆವ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದಿ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಈಚ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಟ್ಯೂನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದರ್ ಅಪ್ಕ